Great. Thank you, Todd. Well, have you ever had a dog whose elbows have a rough, wrinkly bump on them? They are more common in large and giant breed dogs, and it can be very painful. Okay, Jessica Montoya, a licensed veterinary technician at the UT College of Veterinary Medicine, a low-cost solution she came up with to help ease the pain. They are very painful, um, especially when they become ulcerated um, and they open up. Sometimes they get so bad um, that they will actually rupture the tendons over the elbows. Um, those are the most severe cases. Um, the non-ulcerated ones, they are a little uncomfortable and that's why the dogs tend to switch positions uh, most or quite frequently, I should say. They're kind of like bed sores in a way um, and it's just because they get uncomfortable. It's a bony prominence and so the pressure alone, because there's not a lot of, a lot of skin that covers bones um, in those prominent, prominent areas, um, it creates a lot of pressure there. And then the fluid um, bursa fills up underneath there and creates a pocket full of fluid. And then over time that will open up or it may drain or sometimes it just scars over it. If you have a dog that has a high groma at home that's not ulcerated, um, which means it's not open where you can visibly see the tissue underneath the skin. It's going to kind of look kind of like your elbow does um, in general uh, on appearance. Um, that's a non-ulcerated hygroma. You're going to measure from the below the uh, bo bottom point of that hygroma to the pad that comes up over the um, metacarpal joint. You're going to measure that distance between there and that's the length that you're going to cut your pool noodle longitudinally and then you're going to take a a tube sock that you may have at home or if you have a small child that has grown out of a pair of uh, leggings at home you can use that as well but you're just going to cut the end of the tube sock out so you can create kind of like a sock sleeve over the patient or your pet's arm and then you're going to put the pool noodle over that you can pick some velcro up they come um, you can get it on amazon or any hardware store you can pick up rolls of velcro you're going to put the abrasive part of the velcro on the bottom part of the pool noodle and then you're going to um, take another piece of velcro that's the non-abrasive part over the top of the pool noodle and that's just to keep it secure in place and then as the pool noodle fatigues or flattens out you'll want to change that pool noodle out but the um, tube sock you can change out and wash as frequently as you need to um, but we see them so frequently in here that I was like, there's got to be a way that, you know, for these patients that, you know, don't necessarily need surgery for these that we could do this for, that's something that the owners could help the patients out at home um, that wouldn't be so ex expensive for them. And so we've actually seen probably about 10 patients come in um, since I started doing this that it actually works out really great. Great idea. Yeah, the paper Jessica wrote along with small animal surgeon Dr. Karen Tobias describing the technique will be published in the upcoming edition of Clinician's Brief, a journal uh, accessed by veterinarians worldwide. Huh.